Welcome to WesternSoapNow.com. Meteorologist Russ Pappas here. Taking a quick look at America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. Uh, we're seeing some clouds. We're seeing some storms over the high country. That's primarily the pattern. High country storms. Very slow movement. And that creates problems, especially over Burn Scar region. And I'll show you that on radar in just a moment. But first, Thursday, quick look at the drought monitor. Looks like the only improvement is eastern Montrose County and a small sliver of eastern Delta County. They've got downgraded from extreme to severe. And it also looks like the majority of Gunnison County is now in a severe category, which is an improvement over late, but I'm still looking at the majority of Montrose, Delta, and Mesa County as teetering between extreme and exceptional. So still very dry conditions. And while we continue through the work week and we continue into the weekend, we will maintain dry conditions. The focus of any storm activity will be into the four corners and even further than that, the four corner states, New Mexico, Arizona, they're going to get stormy over the weekend. Uh, the San Juans will pick up some storms and it looks like, um, <sighs> Raton Pass, that just about escaped my mind uh, as the better chances of showers. But for the most part, lower elevations are going to go drier. We'll keep storms in the mountains. We'll keep storm clouds popping each afternoon. And speaking of storm clouds popping, look at the county line between Mesa and Garfield. Right there, a little bit of a uh, storm cell working its way out of the region. That's likely going to put down some heavy rain over the burn scar. So again, if that burn scar Grizzly Creek does go under a flash flood warning, Interstate 70 would shut down as a safety precaution. So we're going to kind of watch this. There's still a bit of distance to go before it gets to Grizzly Creek and it could peter out or it could change directions. Outside of that, it's just isolated showers up on the Yunkin Pagre and some isolated showers in eastern Utah working their way through the area. That could put up some uh, gusty winds. Right now, we're sustained less than 20 miles per hour, or we've maintained wind speeds, top wind speeds, less than 20 miles per hour. Uh, but that could change with some of these storms moving through, so just uh, don't get caught off guard if the winds gust up. So far, our temperatures today, mid-80s, low 90s. Our average for this time of the year is generally 90 to 95. So we're just below that average. We're going to work on that tomorrow. We're going to get some uh, better uh, temperatures in tomorrow. Now, here's that flood warning I was talking about. This is primarily for the Pine Gulch burn scar. We could see another one for the Grizzly Creek later. The potential is there. In the meantime, uh, just get used to those daily storms popping up in the mountains and uh, daily temperature increases as we work our way through the upcoming weekend. In fact, we're going to experience some triple digit temperatures on Sunday and Monday. Start of next week looking kind of hot. Uh, this weekend itself, partly cloudy skies, breezy conditions, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, but we should maintain dry conditions until about the middle of next week. Middle of next week, that's where we're going to swing things back into that stormy pattern. So by the time you get to the point where you're fed up with the hot temperatures, mid 90s for Montrose, low 100s for Grand Junction, no records for either location. But right about the time you get fed up with it, I think we'll change gears and we'll introduce storms again. We'll get those afternoon storms going. Uh, more widespread storms, not the spotty little pop ups that we're going to be dealing with Thursday, Friday and Saturday.